Hello guys, welcome back to another Windows 8.1 tutorial. So this tutorial is going to be revolving around the start screen and also the PC settings. Just give you a little information on what it's about and what changes have been made. So right now, if you guys have not noticed on the desktop and also the weather, there is a larger tile size. There's three different sizes. And if you go ahead and right click on any of them, what you can do is you can resize them from large, wide, medium and small. I'm going to go ahead and bring it down to wide just so you guys can see that. Same thing goes with the weather app and other various types of tiles too that allow you to go ahead and do it. Another thing that you guys might find useful is in regards to moving tiles around. If you guys are used to moving a tile one by one, that's not going to happen anymore because you can go ahead and right click on each tile that you want and you guys can go ahead and drag it to any area that you guys desire for example like that and also in regards to the name group instead of having to right click and customize all you have to do is just right click on a tile just name the group and then press return and just go ahead and double click outside of the tiles and that'll bring you back so that's a lot easier inside the start screen you also have the option to get to the start screen menu a lot faster with this arrow right here when it appears when you go ahead and move your mouse if you have your mouse idle and it's not moving, it'll go ahead and disappear. But when you do move it, that arrow will go ahead and appear. And when you press it, it'll bring you over to the start screen menu, um, giving you options and access to all your Windows Store apps and also your Windows desktop applications. With the apps, you can go ahead and customize them, whether by name, date installed, most used, and by category. So if I were to go ahead and click on by date installed, this gives me the option to go ahead and get my apps a lot faster. And also with the new apps that have been installed fresh, and have not been opened, it'll have a little icon called new. Um, if you guys want to hear a lot more information in regards to what this possibly start screen menu can do for you and how more productive it can be, go ahead and stay tuned for another video. But let's go ahead and carry on with the other features that are on the start screen. Going over here, you guys get the option of having your suspended apps and opening them up each one by one, for example, like that. And if you go over here, when you hover over here, you have this new option called the start button right here. And that'll go ahead and bring you over to the start screen as well. The same thing goes with the desktop interface. The desktop interface has now brought back the start button. Keep in mind, there is only a start button. It does not have a start menu. If you guys do want a menu for your applications, this would be it, like I had mentioned before. It's a lot more landscape friendly and you guys can go ahead and get to your apps instead of having to go into folders like you would with the start menu. And so on our way to PC settings, and before we go ahead and go on to that, if you do want PC settings pinned to your start screen, all you have to do is just go back to this arrow, navigate and find PC settings, right click on it and pin to start. So into PC settings, as you can see, there's a lot different interfaces in regards to what you can see and how you can go ahead and navigate it. And each setting within the top settings, you can go ahead and click on each one, giving you more further options without all that clutter. It has its own individualized area to where you can go ahead and customize everything. You do have the option to go ahead and customize your lock screen, either with a picture or with a slideshow. If you want to learn further on the slideshow, I do have a playlist within Windows 8.1. Also, you can go ahead and select your lock screen apps give you notifications and also you can have an alarm awake you from the lock screen as well and if you want your camera to have access to your lock screen for example if you wanted to go ahead and skype you can go ahead and have that camera access from your lock screen Going over here to the display, same thing with as any display properties, it's just gonna go ahead and give you a lot more options. Going over to Bluetooth, it just gives you native support for your Bluetooth devices and as well as devices. If you wanna go ahead and connect any type of mouse or peripheral, you can go ahead and do that from here. Mouse and touchpad gives you a lot more options in regards to whether you wanna go ahead and be left-handed or right-handed right here. Roll your mouse multiple lines at a time or you can go ahead and choose how many lines to scroll each time. Going on to typing, you just have a few things in regards to suggested text, double tap to shift and etc. Corner and edges allows you to go ahead and allow switching between apps. So if you want that off, you can. And for this, when I swipe from the left edge, switch between my recent apps instead of showing a list of them. Uh, going on to the corner navigation, when I go ahead and point up to the upper right corner, which is right here, you can go ahead and see the charms bar, but if you don't want that on, you can go ahead and turn it off and it won't appear as you can see right here, unless I go ahead and go from the bottom. When I go ahead and click the upper left corner, it'll go ahead and switch over to my other apps right here if I were to just click that. But if I want that off, I can go ahead and turn that off as well. Power and sleep is pretty standard. If you want to go ahead and turn off your screen within a certain amount of time or you want to go ahead and put it to sleep, you can as well. And going to autoplay just allows you to go ahead and autoplay each device like a USB drive or a CD. Going into PC information, you can go ahead and see a lot more options in regards to the properties of your system. And going further into accounts, you can see that if you 
you wanted to add an account, you can. You can go ahead and go into sign up options in regards to a picture password, your PIN number, or anything else. Uh, searching apps. If you want to go ahead and use Bing to search online, you can, and you can get a lot more customizable search result if you guys want to go ahead and search through Bing. Going over to privacy allows you to go ahead and customize whether you want your webcam, microphone, or location revealed. And going on to the network allows you to just go ahead and set up any type of home group or connection that you have currently, whether it be LAN or YLAN. And going over to update and recovery, if you wanted to go and check for Windows updates, you can. Uh, going to the file history is currently off in this preview. I'm sure it'll be enabled once the final version has come out for Windows 8.1. And going to recovery, if you feel like you guys are having problems with your Windows 8.1, you can currently refresh it so the problems can be fixed and everything in regards to your files will go ahead and stay. But if you want to go ahead and just reinstall Windows, everything will be removed and you can go ahead and go back to factory settings. So that seems just like about it for the whole start screen and also the PC settings. If you guys have any comments or any questions, go ahead and feel free to go ahead and post them down below. And until next time, guys, see you later. Bye.